Well, the, uh, the trip to Czechoslovakia was uh, a reward from the football uh, or FA um, for a good cup run. And uh, as a thank you from the club, because they put money in the club, go on tour to somewhere and it turned out to be Czechoslovakia. Beautiful place. Um, they treated us like uh, celebrities. Um, we played one, the first game we played was at uh, Gutwaldorf and uh, as I say they treated us very well. Nobody had been on a tour and the camaraderie was brilliant but when we got to Prague airport we had a bit of a culture shock because we didn't, we knew it was communist held because the Russians obviously for some reason hadn't released the country back after they'd taken it from the Germans. But when they opened the doors of the plane and put the stairs up to the doorway we look down the stairway and there's ten, two rows of Russian soldiers with machine guns. We thought, and one of the lads said, looks like they're expecting us. The Red Army Ensemble was uh, doing a tour of Czechoslovakia and uh, we got tickets to go and see them in a big open air concert, which was quite interesting. Well, we went to uh, a concert which was by the Russian Army in a park, all open air and they announced us this great British football team come to Czechoslovakia, the first team to visit since the war. Of course, they all stood up and kissed us and patted us on the back. And then we got bunches of flowers. I mean, if you ride in Burslem, they'd probably have a few flags waving, but that would be it. But when you arrived in any place where we went, it was the same ritual, they all in the lovely, beautiful costumes, particularly the children, and all this kissing on the cheek and flowers. And say so you got used to it after a while, you know, but it was so different for us and we had quite a few banter about it, but I mean, there's no disrespect for us, that's their way and it's lovely really. And some of the lads even enjoyed it, I think, particularly if the lady kissed them on the cheek or whatever, you know. We visited quite a lot of factories. We went to the Myopter uh, camera factory. We went to the Spit factory that made Wellington boots and other, other types of footwear. It was very, very... Oh, eye opener, if you like, queuing in the shops for meat and bread. But that old tour was fantastic, and particularly when we ended up going to Ladis, because we had snippets from uh, the years before about the people of Stoke on Trent contributing to Ladis, particularly the miners. And we, they said well, we would go to Ladis to see what, what the money had produced, and it was fantastic. Well, it's a thing I shall never forget, and I'm sure none of the other lads would ever forget because it's sown a seed which has got to be, like I said, has got to be carried on. All the teams we played against, they, we received a little stick pin badge for your lapel, uh, about eight or ten of which I still have. Uh, but the most poignant one is the one for Ladis. They gave, we all had a little um, pin badge with just the name Ladis on it uh, as a memorial for our visit to the site which was quite, um, well, it was very moving just to stand there and know the history of what had happened there. It's difficult to describe how you felt. You felt, you felt sort of uh, angry. Um, it was sickening when you could visualise what had happened, how they, the, the German or the Nazis had um, taken vengeance on the population. Uh, it was a war. The atrocities were committed um, in the name of war, but it was really an act of vengeance. But, uh, yeah, very, uh, very, a very sad day, but a, you know something that made you made you realise how uh, what a waste of time war is when when you come and sit down and think about it. Loads of innocent people died unnecessarily. It really didn't sink home to us, really. When we, we heard snippets of it, but we didn't have a full story. But we knew about Dr. Stross and the donations. But when we went there, we thought, well, it tied into what, I mean, the miners in those days, like everybody else, they didn't have a lot of money, but everybody dipped in his hand in his pocket. There's something about the UK psyche that makes us want to help other people. I don't know. There was some way of paying back those, there wasn't many survivors, but those that did could say, well, it was for those people that have gone, it was a tribute to the people that didn't survive. And I'm glad now that after all these years, it's been brought up again. So I think, hopingly, it'll get passed on to the younger generation, because I don't think these things should ever be forgotten.